everybody, and welcome once again to Digi and May Rate All the Pokemon Designs, the show that comes out every single day, which means it has to be recorded every, every single every single every night. night. <laughs> we we made we made a I made a horrible mistake by deciding to schedule it every day as opposed to maybe every other day because uh, we can't do anything else. We are completely yeah, roped in, stuck. Um, unless we tried to like stay up all night and do all of it at once. I, I could do it. I could probably do another one after this. I don't know if I could do all, I, I, all like, the generations. I would be capable. I just wouldn't be interesting anymore no, by the time we no. reach the end. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, looking at the stats for what we gave Gen 3, I mean, it was obviously going to come out a lot weaker because we were fucking pretty harsh on it. But it didn't come out as much worse as I might have yeah, thought, you know. Um, you know it's still in the three range. We didn't give it below a three. Kanto and Johto are fours. Holland, three. Three yeah. is still good. Yeah. It's, it's, just it's not, you know. It's, you know. It's a Pokemon generation. It could be worse. Yeah. And maybe it will be. Who knows? We're moving on to Gen 4. I've literally never played Diamond and Pearl. I am by far the least familiar with this generation. I've played the later ones. Um, Never played Diamond and Pearl. How much? You played um, them, right? I've played Platinum, like... Probably five times through. Okay, yeah, so you're so quite familiar. I'm quite familiar with my Gen 4 babes. Okay, um, and, oh, I'm supposed you to be on Deoxys. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I, there, don't get me wrong, a few of my favorite Pokemon are in Gen 4. In fact, my number one favorite Pokemon is in Gen 4, but there's a lot of them that I don't like. So let's do a prediction. How do you think Gen 4 will, um, compare to the previous generations? I think it'll be about on par with Gen 3. I do too. I don't think we'll be too horribly disappointed, but uh, I do think we will have to wade through some well. meh. Alright, let's get let's get going. Turtwig. I like him. I like Turtwig. I give him a four. I'm also going to give him a four. Although, um, you know, we actually have like several Turtwig plushies, plushies in my house. He's a fucking cute. Um... But I think that's because Shade had them. Because this was Shade's generation. Shade yeah. <laughs> grew up with Diamond and Pearl. So, like, he... The funny thing about it, um, like, a big thing... A big problem I'm going to have with this generation is that this was when legendaries went crazy. Oh, yeah. When yeah. they introduced a thousand of them. Um, Shade loves that. Like, all his favorites are legendaries. Because, like, if you grew up with that, that's just what Pokemon was to you. So, like, yeah, legendaries are cool. Um, but, you know. So, apologies to any, uh... You know, anyone a couple generations younger than me who totally loves legendaries, you're gonna not, uh, you're gonna probably disagree with me on a lot of shit. I don't know, I don't think it's really gonna affect how you think of the design of it. Like, what did you give Turtwig? I might give four. I, I think Turtwig is a better turtle starter than Squirtle. But I, I'm, I'm considering bumping him up to a five. Yeah. I'm not sure though. He is really cute. He's got a. I'm trying to think of if I would recognize him by silhouette. And I think... I definitely wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think I would either. Like, that's a... I mean, that's just an aspect of design that I'm not necessarily applying to the Pokemon, but it is a general uh, character design trait that a strong character design can be recognized by silhouette alone. Mm -hmm. And I could easily recognize the vast majority of, like, Gen 1 Pokemon by silhouette. Granted, that's partly because I know them so insanely well. And I mean, if I was looking at something that I knew was supposed to be a Pokemon, I might know it was Turtwig. But like, you know, I, I mean, I'm just bringing this up now out of nowhere. Yeah. But like, this is kind of what I feel like is the determining factor of why I'm not giving him a five. Is that he's just not like striking in such a way that like some of the fives I've given are. Yeah, I totally know? agree. I think that's a really interesting method you have developed. Yeah. <laughs> Where was it the last few videos? I wonder. <laughs> uh... Grodel, he's alright. I give him a three. He's not, like, he doesn't get me excited, but... I'm gonna give him a two. Yeah? What do you not like about him? I mean, him? he isn't interesting to me. Like, he's a cool concept, but I don't think he looks really, like... He Again, he falls into that awkward puberty stage, and yeah. I'm just, like, not really buying into it. Like... If you had a cute ass starter and it evolved, like I'd be kind of disappointed. To, yeah. To get it I feel. Uh, I I think I was trying to explain this before, and I don't think I did a good job of it in <laughs> Gen Three. But I was trying to say is basically that like in Gen One, you got to the second evolution, and it felt like this step up 
like it was cooler than what you had before. Even if it wasn't necessarily as great of a design as Gen 1, like it didn't feel like an awkward middle phase yeah, while you're waiting yeah. for the c cool one, you know? Which, I mean, some of them were. Like, you get a Caterpie into a Metapod, you're basically just waiting for your Butterfree, you know? Yeah, but I mean, with starters, I feel like the hype should yeah. be all the way through. You should always want to use your I've starter. I've always hated, with, with a lot of, basically most gens, like, when you're in the second stage, that's when you're like, ugh, why am I stuck with this? Yeah, I really yeah. want to get to the third stage already because... Usually their sprites aren't very cool, you know, and um, it's just like you're in a rush to get there, with with few exceptions, with the few Pokemon like um, like uh, Trico Second Evolution, where I don't want him to evolve <laughs> into Sceptile, but uh, yeah. Um, and then we got I like Torterra. Torterra. I like Torterra. Okay, I'm divided on Torterra. I think, okay, I'm going to give him a four. Because I do think that he's a strong, interesting design. When this game came out, I fucking hated him. Because there's a tree on one side and mountains on the other. And just the the lack of symmetry drove me insane. <laughs> like, the lack of symmetry just, I, I don't know, it's fucking weird. You know, like, Bolt, like Venusaur was a beautifully symmetrical... Uh, you know, tree thing, and his spots were, like, what added an element of asymmetry to him. This guy, to me, felt like a shitty version of Venusaur, you know? Like, I oh, mean, he's very yeah. similar. But, like, looking at him now, I think there's enough that distinguishes him. Um, he's cool on his own, I guess. I think he's, a, he's definitely striking. I'm also gonna go ahead and give him a forge. I just don't think he's, like, great enough to get a five, but there's something I can really, like, say I don't like about him. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he kind of looks like a rip-off Venusaur, but... Right. Uh, he's, he's okay. He's, he's, cool. a, he's, he's a K. Cool he's a Kmart Dina Venusaur. Yeah. <laughs> um, alright. Chimchar. I give him a three because yeah, he's too. a monkey, and I hate monkeys. <laughs> like, I mean... For one thing, he's just a monkey with a fire on his butt. Like, he doesn't look unique. He's just a monkey. Like, I don't know. They could have maybe chose a more orange color than what he's got. Because, like, yeah. this is actually a color that mon monkeys are. <laughs> he's just a monkey with a fire on his ass. Um, he's kind of cute, but I also hate monkeys. So, I, I can't really give I him too much I think his credit. head shape is really kind of stupid looking. I think he looks kind of derpy. He isn't really cool or cute. In my opinion. Yeah. He's okay. I mean, he's an okay starter, but he's not. What do you score? Great. Three. 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 Yes. All right, Monferno. I don't remember what this one looks like. Uh, I also give him a, a three, three, but I think yeah. he's better. He's a step in the right direction. He looks more unique, but he's still kind of just a monkey. Um, and I hate monkeys. And the flame tail is a little too Charmander, <laughs> which I don't know. Maybe this gen they were going for like similar to Gen 1, because so far that's what we've been having. It's like Maybe. a lot of very close to Gen that, 1. Um, I can see it now that you mentioned that. Yeah. Well, we'll really determine that when we get to uh, Piplup and his shit, but... Infernape. I think Infernape's... Alright. I give him a 4, too. He's actually... I like, um... I actually like the weird... Me too. ...armor things on him, because they've got a little bit more design... He really, really, really looks like a Naruto character to me. <laughs> yes, like, he's yes. giving me extreme Naruto vibes. Just with the, the spirals, the pose, like the open toes, like the open toe shoes yeah. that the Naruto characters all wear. He's a, he's the Naruto Pokemon. He even but, has the spirals on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's Naruto's cool. cool. Yeah. I like Naruto. As much as the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Alright, Piplup. Piplup gets a five for me. I give Piplup a four. Yeah. I think, okay, I do think Piplup's really cute. He doesn't, like, stand out to me he enough to get me sense. hype. Like, compared to, like, Mudkip. Mudkip is such a more interesting design than Piplup. I think you're wrong. Piplup's just a tiny penguin. It's a fucking cute. It's blue. At the I will also say that when the <laughs> anime for this uh, season came out, I was I remember when it first dropped, I was actually really excited about it. Because, yeah. again, I had 
not paid attention to Pokemon Advance. I hated May and Max. I hated that whole gen of uh, the show. When this show started... Baby, you're breaking my heart. You hated me? <laughs> you hated when, my debut? <laughs> when this show started, they introduced Dawn, and, like, the show felt, at least at the beginning, like it was supposed to be almost a reboot that's about this new Dude, character. Dawn's hot as fuck. She is hot. <laughs> and, like, it felt like it was about Dawn being the, like, uh, you know, the new Ash. Like, she's this new trainer who's starting off. But then they had Piplup, and it felt like they were really trying to push Piplup as, like, the Pokemon this gen. Like, he was on everything, he shows up in every episode, he's always there, but he had no personality. It was just a fucking cute little penguin thing. Like, Pikachu at the start of the show is this angry, fucking violent Pokemon. But he is a Pikachu. Like, one Piplup does not represent the entire population just, of the Piplups. I'm just saying that Piplup was boring and like yeah. looking at him he doesn't give me an impression of what he's like he's just a cute penguin oh, dude, I al- you know i always love Piplup's my man <laughs> all right well i don't know his evolutions i'm also i'm also hold on i also want to be harsh on Piplup just because in in the future there will in in the next gen will be um something somewhat similar to Piplup, except my favorite like starter ever so I you know, know. I know what <laughs> so Piplup gets a four um, Friend Club, on the other hand, I give a two. I think it's. I give it a two as well. It's the embodiment of the ugly puberty stage. Yes, this There's, is the ultimate embarrassing. Really I don't looking, want it. Like, yeah. Imagine, like, I mean, having this. Imagine being a cute little and girl. And getting to this. Fucking being like, oh, I got my Pokemon game. I picked Piplup. It's so cute. Oh, it's getting ready to evolve. It's gonna, it's gonna turn into something cute, right? And then you get that. Like, no. <laughs> no, not okay. Heartbreak, guys. It's bad. Well, how about Empoleon? I give him he's, Empoleon. He's kind of cool. Four? Yeah, I give him... I think I give him a four, too, just because I really like his face. Yeah. Um, This guy looks like the king of the ocean. He does. You know? He looks... He's got... I mean, just because he's got a trident on his face, he reminds me of... um, Of what's-his-fuck. The, uh, you know, the ocean guy. Poseidon? Poseidon, that one. <laughs> I was like, what are you saying? Yeah. These guys don't get fives. Like, none of the starter evolutions no. get fives for me. Just because, like, if you put them on the box art, I don't think it would sell the game. No. They aren't cool. They aren't, they, they're cool, but they aren't that cool. I, I, I mean, I really like the... I like all the patterns and everything. The mm-hmm. only thing I don't like is, like, his hands with the weird fingers. Yeah. Like, they, they just seem so unwieldy. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> His toes are kind of... Sometimes when I see, nasty. like, uh, a creature that I I feel like it would just be so cumbersome to be that creature, it makes <laughs> me feel uncomfortable. Like, I'm picturing myself with those arms, and I'm like, ah, I can't do anything, you know? Why do you even have fingers? They can't even reach each other. What can you hold? <laughs> no. Good question. <laughs> All right. Next, we got our, uh, our new generation of birds. So we got Starly. Um, I guess he's more, he's less just a bird than Pidgey <laughs> or Taylo. Pokemon than them? Yeah. Not really. I give him a three. He, he doesn't give me a. I also give it a three. It's just a bird guy. Yeah. Staravia, a two. Two, two. I'm not into this face <laughs> and this. This weird, weird cowlick. Thing. Eh, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. But then we got Staraptor, who I mostly... God damn it, I didn't fucking click right. I mostly remember for his emo swoosh. <laughs> Which is, it's cool. Me, I give him a four. I give him a two. <laughs> yeah. I don't like him at all. Me and Victor were would ra- rag on Staraptor like, relentlessly for his emo swoosh, man. I think it's fucking awesome. He's got... It's, like, it, that's the only thing it could be, right? Like, it's like a comb over yeah. <laughs> that's dyed red at the tip, and he's angry and angsty. When I look at him, I immediately think, I can't make it on my own, I can't make it on my own, because my heart is in Ohio. Well, you know, my bad thing right by when I was the age when these ga- games came out, I was an emo kid, so maybe... When I was the age that this game came out, I hated emo kids yeah. with a violent passion. <laughs> we would have been best friends. I wasn't like 
emo emo, but like I was very emo. I was more scene, I guess. Scene kid is what I mean, yeah. yeah. We called them emo at the time, but then we found out about emo music, and then it was like, you know, now you gotta call them scene kids, or else the fucking music fans will be like, oh, but American football, and you're like, okay, I, I understand. Um, Bidoof. Bidoof. <laughs> I give him a four. Or, he's fucking, yeah, he's good. He um, he's one that I hated as a kid, uh, because I thought he was dopey, but then, um, my cousin Boyd is really into Bidoof. And him showing me so him him like reblogging so many retarded gifts of Bidoof convinced me that Bidoof was cool. <laughs> and uh yeah, he's goofy. He's goofy. And he's got big teeth like me. Same. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're a big we're a big front teeth uh, couple. It's adorable. The barrel uh two. two. He's like a shitty version of Bidoof. Yeah. You know, I was always really into Rapunzel in the Entangled because she had big front teeth, just like me. Beautiful. Yeah. She's this is why everyone cool. thinks you're my sister. Well, yeah. We've got the we same. Fucked up teeth um, and bushy eyebrows. Cricket Tot. I've never even seen this thing. I give it a two. It you just know. looks like Volbeat, but less, slightly it's less a shit. Bug. Yeah. It's very forgettable. I forgot that it existed. I don't think I've ever seen it before. And it has an evolution. What the <laughs> fuck is that? I forgot that existed. Um. I'm gonna give it a one. I hate the pedo stash. I give it a one even though I love the mustache. <laughs> but the mustache is the only good thing about it. And like it it doesn't complement no, the rest it of this. It looks stupid. It looks... I wonder if this is the one. Someone said, um, Someone had commented that like there were there were Pokemon based on Japanese comedians. I wonder if this is the Pokemon okay. based on a Japanese comedian. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> Shakes. I give it a five. I think it is really fucking amazing. This thing seems like it's trying hard to be cute. Yeah, what's wrong with that? But it's not. What's wrong? It's with not that? cute enough. You don't think so? You don't like its big yellow eyes? Big I, piercing yellow eyes. I'm torn the more between, I'm looking at it, the less I like them. I'm torn between a three and a four on this thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it a... Eh, fuck, I'll give it a four. It's interesting enough. It, it's got a very yeah. different color scheme. I've never quite seen one like that before. I think it's pretty interesting and it's recognizable, you know. Yeah. I had to stare at its colors for long enough to decide if I liked them. I don't like its eyes. But looking at its evolutions, um, I'll we'll give him a three. Yeah, me too. I kind of like his, uh, neck beard, but yeah. I don't know about these things. These, these little, like, <laughs> things that come off of him kind of bother me. Are they coming off of him or just, like, the patterns on his legs? I can't tell, but either way, I don't like him. <laughs> um... Luxray, also three. Yeah. I don't have any particular problems with this one. It just doesn't impress me. You could make something like a lion electric Pokemon look way cooler, in my yeah. opinion. Is, are they lions? Yeah, I think so. It's some kind of like... I think it's a lynx. Shinx maybe, is a lynx. Maybe, but... Uh, all their names are just based around the fact that they have gleaming eyes, so... The black makes it look like Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, it's. I mean, the whole line is very edgy to me. Like yeah. even the first one, like it's cute, but also like dark, you know. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, what the hell is a Badu? Baby Rosalia. Oh, uh, I give it a three. three. I don't think it's that cute for a baby. No, it it's all right. It's no real problems, but it ain't that cute. Rosary. What? Um, I don't like it. I give it a two. Entirely because of its, like, mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it a two as well. Like, okay, why not just make that a different color? <laughs> like, I can't tell if that's part of its body or not. And if it is part of its body, it looks stupid. And if it's not part of its body, why make it the same color? Um. Rosalia was such a great design, too. I just... This is not okay. a good advancement of no, Rosalia. It's not. Uh, okay, what's a Cranidos? Oh, he's cool. I give him a five. Yeah. Strong, strong silhouette, 
He's a dinosaur. I always like dinosaur Pokemon. I like his big, weird fin, and the fact that you can immediately tell what he's used for. You headbutt shit. I'm also going to give him a 5. I was torn between a 4 and a 5, but I... I think he's a strong enough design. Is that the first 5 I've given to this gen? I think so. <laughs> this is going to be a middling. Uh, him I give a 4. He's... I mean... I'm going to give it a 2. Really? I don't like it at all. Let me compare again. Mm. What's on his head? Uh, the same thing that's on his head. The ram. No, it's not. <laughs> Why does it extend that far? Actually, I'm going to give it a 3 because I don't like how... It's ugly, dude. I don't like how it's in the middle, like, as opposed to, like, encompassing the head in the way it does here. Like, this looks more tight. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, has a weird back thing. It's like yeah, that just sticks out. I, I think he, he makes sense as a logical extension of Cranidos, at least. Yeah, that's but true. he's not as cool as Cranidos. No. Well, he kind of gets T Rex cooler. Yeah. Uh, three. Yeah, I'll also go. I three. like the concept, but I'm not that interested in the Pokemon. It's. He's simple, he's sort of cute, he's okay. Yeah. I think he's his color scheme is just not grabbing enough. No, it's for me. Not. I know I've heard of Bastiodon. Bastiodon. Oh, I like him more. I give me him too. a four. I like his big goofy smiling face. I give him a four too. But something about like I can't tell if those are. I, I mean, I'm guessing those are teeth. Yeah. But I like how it also kind of looks like a a girder on his face, like oh. like the front of a like the grill of a truck, mm -hmm. you know, like when he rams you, it's supposed to feel like an eighteen wheeler hitting you or something. Um, that's kind of cool. He's he he just makes me happy. His fucking face yeah. makes me happy, and his name Bastiodon. Bastiodon sounds like a fucking Bastiodon song. <laughs> All right, what's a Burmy? Burmy. No. It's a bagworm, like our friend Pineco. Is he a baby Pineco? He has different forms, so you have to look at all the forms. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, those are all evolutions. No, he has forms, too, though. Go up. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Sandy Cloak. He, like, changes up based and on the environment. Trash Cloak? The trash one's kind of cool. What's trash about it? I don't know. He's, like, steel, so he's, like, a trash. I don't like him at all. I give him a two. I'm gonna give him a two as well. Wormadam. Uh, even worse? Look at his other forms. That uh, one's alright, I think. I don't like that one. I, I like the colors. I, nah. I'm not into this entire <laughs> concept. I give him a two. Me too. What's a Mothim? What am I in for tried next? way too hard. They spent okay. way too Is much time. Is this also related to that thing? Yes, yes. the male okay. version. This one's a lot better. I give it a three. It's kind of a... It's less appealing than any of the other things that are exactly the same thing as it. Yeah, you know, and if you are other Moth two, and Butterfly just, Pokemon. I don't know. I feel like Dust Talks was a better, like yeah. better Moth. I agree. So it's just like, why bother? Why do you need another mom? Combi. Combi gets a four. Yeah, I give it a four too. It's. Combi. I feel like this is a stupid idea <laughs> executed well enough. Yeah. <laughs> that I like it. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is he? Look at how happy the bottom one is. Yeah. Honeycomb. I think I only like it because it's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> that I yeah. can't help myself. Um, Bespequen. Bespequen. I, I don't know. Is it supposed to be Quen or Queen? Yeah, it's Bespequen. I mean, it's clearly a Queen B. Fuck you. It's a Quen. All right. Uh, I give it, um, I don't know, a three. I have no particular problem with it, but yeah, it's same. not. Like, uh, if I had something as dumb as Combi. And it's supposed to evolve into, like, the Queen Bee. I would hope for something cooler than this. Yeah. This does not inspire me to want to go through the trouble of raising, like, like, like catching what is probably a low catch rate female combi. Yes. And then it's training it It's very difficult, because the only way to catch it was with the honey. So yeah. So you would have to, like, that was really time consuming. Like, you would yeah. have to really invest time. I don't, time. this is not worth it to me yeah. to do that. 
Um, Pachi Risu. Uh, I give him... I'm gonna give it a three. I give him a four. Um, I was almost tempted to give him a five. Yeah? I, I mean, he's another Pikachu, but he's a better... Better than what we've had in the last... Better than Pichu. Better than fucking Plusle, Plusle like and Mina. And, Mine. Like, yeah, those two are, like... Those are just, those ones are just, like... Uh, they, like, piss me off because they're just so blatant. They're just so bad about it. Um, this one is a Pikachu clone that at least takes it in a different direction. And, um... Why is he blue? Uh, because it's cute. I guess. It is cute. I'm not gonna do I didn't anything. realize he was electric when I first... Uh, assessed him at all. I just think he's like meh. Like the cool thing about him is he's blue. I like his colors and I like the spikes on his tail. Yeah, his tail is pretty cool. We give him a four. The weasel. Weasel. Is uh. I'm gonna give him a four. I give him a four too. I like his little life preserver net. Me too. I love it. I like his colors, the two tails, and everything. Yeah. He's like the coolest of the, uh, like, weasels that we've had so far, I think. Same. Um, Floatzel. Floatzel. Two. two. And also, unnecessary. <laughs> but Weasel looks like it should be a one-stage Pokemon. Yeah. Like, this does not Weasel need to good. evolve. Just make Weasel lose usable, like, don't... Yeah. This it thing just, is totally unnecessary. It's not cool. It is weird. Yeah. I don't like it. No. It's just like a worse... It's literally a worse version. Cherubi. Cherubi. I've never seen this before in my uh, life. It's really forgettable. What it's is it? Like is a it a cherry? Grass. It's just a cherry. Yeah, it's a cherry. I give it a three. It's not offensive, but yeah. it's not memorable. Same I will forget three. it existed again. Cherim um, says two different forms. Oh, that one's cool! Yes. Okay, um... I'm gonna give it a five. I think it deserves a five. Ooh! Is this thing evolved for the other thing? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't really care for the overcast form that much. So it's not nobody it's uses all right. it for that. You gotta use sunny days so you can have sunshine form. Get the goods. I'm giving him a four overall. I think it's fucking adorable. He's very, very, very cute. But, I mean, I don't know if I'll find him all that much. I don't know. I, maybe I'd like him more if I had him in the game. I'm not sure. I've never seen this thing in my life. <laughs> like, literally, this is the first time I am ever seeing this Pokemon. I have no recollection of seeing it at all. So, um, I'll give it a four patent pending. <laughs> uh, Shellos. What the fuck is two, this? Two. Yeah, I give it a two. It, um... It has different forms. You have to look at all the forms. It looks like a fucking wormple. It does. Uh, why does that look shit? Why does that picture <laughs> look shit? I don't know. Uh, it didn't improve my opinion. I give it a two. <laughs> Same. Uh... This one's a little better, I guess. I give it a... I like the blue one. I give it a three. Uh, I'm still gonna give it a two. I think he's a... Like, with this one, I just... I don't like the lumps and stuff. I, generally, I'm not into lumps. This I'm one... not even into This that. one's got more humps than lumps. <laughs> he's kind of gooey. I like gooey. Mm. He's alright. He's fine for me. Ambipom. This is much weaker than Ipom. Yeah. I give this a 2. I don't understand why Ipom needed an evolution. And why the idea was, let's just give it two arms instead I'm of one. I'm gonna give it a 2 as well. And the reason is because I hate the fingernail polish. Thing. Yeah, it's I hate really the bad. ends of its hands. His I really, face is hideous. What bothers me the most is the like weird bowl cut yeah. and the nose. <laughs> And, and also these weird tufts coming out where the tail is. Like, Everything that's different why? about Apom is, like, bad. Yeah. Not, it, it, there's yeah. no positive, like, extension. Yeah, nothing they added was good. It looks All like right. the same Pokemon with, like, ugly features. I on, give Drifloon so. a four. I think it's cool. I like the idea it's of a, a really weird balloon ghost. Um, he's neat. 
He's a rainy boy. He's adorable boy. and creepy at the same time. Which I yeah. Love. I just like the X on his face. I dig it. Um, Triff Blim. He's alright. I give him a three. Um, I'm yeah. less immediately taken in by him than Drifloon. I'm gonna give him a three as well. Uh, but he's still got the good color combo and everything, and I mean, he's a blimp. That's cool. Yeah, it's like a natural extension, just not as cool. Yeah. Baneri. I give Baneri a four. I give it a three. I don't think it's that cute. I, it's not even about it being cute to me. I just like that he's a rabbit. I think it's a really I don't find great anything rabbit. nothing about it stands out enough to me. I I know I know Low Punny though. Low Punny. I like Low Punny. Me too. I'm I give, give it a, a four. Five. Um <laughs> and I know this is like I mostly know Low Punny because it's one of Tamashi Hiroka's least favorite pokemon yeah. because she thinks it looks like a Playboy bunny <laughs> and that Which it's is like a awesome. like a weird Yeah, I kind of uh I kind of oh, that's a mega. We don't need to look at megas. I kind of dig it. Uh, I think it's cute. It's not quite human. Like, I mean, this obviously would also have shitloads of porn of it. Like, it does. it's easy to it imagine. Does. But unlike Gardevoir, it doesn't, like, immediately make me think it's a human. To me, it's just, like, a cute bunny that is, like, a girl. But, like, just I don't know. Curves. I guess I'm just a furry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eyebrows, the giant yeah, eyebrows. I think it's really neat. And the ears are cool. I love the boots. Yeah. Fur boots. Would you cosplay a low punny? <laughs> <laughs> would you sure. wear would you would you sure. wear would you wear her fall um fashion? Yes. Alright. Miss Magius. Uh... This I kinda dig it. I liked Mistrevis. I like this as an evolution of Mistrevis. I love the giant witch hat. I give it a four. I give it a three because the weird lump on his neck is gross. That is weird. I don't know why that's there. If it didn't have that, it would be a four. But I can't stop staring at it. If it <laughs> I actually can't. If it didn't have that, I would give it a five. But um, I really like the hat. Me too. And all these things coming off of I it and the, the gems. I love literally everything about it except for its neck. Um... Which is a bit distracting. It looks like a, a swallowed a football. Um, Honkro. He's he's cool. He makes sense as a Murkrow evolution. He's pretty all right. I give him a four. I give him a four too. I like his attitude. I, I like the cut hat. of his jib. Yeah, the hat's I love cool. All the hats in, in both of them. Yeah. Um, hats. What the hell is a glam meow? I give it a two. It's a shitty skitty. I give it a two as well. I don't like it at all. Um, because it's an obnoxious, pretentious cat. I'm gonna give it a one. It's a cat. It's supposed to be cute. And like, you know, you'd want to use it because it looks like a fucking cat. No. I think it fails on that ground. But I don't it, like it at all. I don't know if the point of it's to be cute so much know. as pretentious and an asshole. I don't like it. Because uh, it evolves into Perugly. I give a one. It disgusts me. Yeah, same. The its ears are hands, <laughs> like unmistakably. It's got these big purple hands. Okay, I know the point is that it's ugly, but it has succeeded too well. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I want to know who this would appeal to. Like, I think it's supposed to be like an ugly cute, but I don't see where the no, cute is. No, I don't know. It's ugly all around. Would women who look like this like this? I don't think so. You know, like I don't think anybody wants to you know, think that they look like that. Well, you that. know those like those fat, angry women who wear a shitload of makeup. Yeah. Like you think they would like per ugly, or like if your mom looked like that. Its you... name is per ugly. Why would you? Why would you like that know, if you man. looked like that? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Chingling. Chingling. Three. Three. It's a it's a nice concept, but I don't think it's that executed that well. It's like literally a bell that has I think eyes it's really and arms and Like, legs. why would Chimeco need a baby? Oh, is that what it is? A baby? Yeah. yeah it's, like, what's no, the point? Not interested. Nobody uses it anyways. Um. Stunky. Stunky. 
uh, uh, two. two. I'm not quite offended enough to give it a one, but its face is bad. Ugh, gross. Skuntank. Two. Also a two. It's it does, better, like, it looks but... like just an ugly animal. Why? Why do they look? Why would you make Pokemon <laughs> like this? Like, why just make ugly Pokemon? Like, these seem deliberately well, ugly. They're supposed to be like Team Galactic's like go to, like the villain team. I don't think of like Rattata or Raticate as like ugly. Like Raticate, I mean Raticate is ugly, but it's like scary. It yeah. like legitimately puts the fear of God in me. It's not scary. It just looks dumb and gross. <laughs> Um, okay, well, whatever. Bronzer. Bronzer. He's a bronzer? Uh, two. I don't get the point. Uh, I just don't find it interesting. Yeah. It just looks like an object. It's just like a... It's like a door stopper or something, like... Oh my god, two as well. Oh, this one's better. I give it a three. I give it a three. Like I want to like this. It really looks like something that would be on a temple in the Wind Waker, mm -hmm. like just hanging from that uh, the water temple area. Um, Bonsley. Bonsley. I give it a four. We have a Bonsley around here, right? Yeah. Did we grab in, him? He's in the closet. I'm gonna grab him. You want to grab him? Sure. You want Bonsley? Sure, I'm gonna grab. Him. I'm going to base my judgment on the plushie of Bonsley as opposed to looking at the Pokemon. Yeah, there he is. He's crying! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a sad boy. Here's our sad boy Bonsley. Uh, I give him a three. I... <laughs> that plushie's really, really a lot. He like. doesn't give, like, he doesn't have the verve of pseudo Wudo, you know? Why would Pseudo Wudo's baby form be like a crybaby thing, anyways? It says he's a bonsai, but he's not supposed to be. I mean, he's a rock. It he's a rock. It water Pokemon. from its eyes to adjust its body fluid levels. Duh. That's why it looks like it's crying. Yes, look, it has like fake tears as like a signature move. We see. I think it's cute. I don't know. Eh. I like him. He's all right. Oh no, there's a Mr. Mime Jr.? <laughs> oh, he's way better yeah, than Mr. Mime. He's a thousand times better than Mr. Mime. I would hate to have this turn into a Mr. Mime <laughs> on me. Uh, I give him a four. He's cute. I like him. I just wish this was not a Mr. Mime. Like, make it its own thing. I, I guess, uh, to some extent, this makes Mr. Mime better because at least we know that he is a Pokemon. Because, like, this looks like a Pokemon. Mr. Mime looks like a horrifying monster, like, creature. Like, I realize I just said two words that would imply a Pokemon, but no. I meant, like, a human monster. Like, the monster within. Like, the kind of person who would do monstrous things. I'm done. I hate Mr. Mime. Alright, what's a happy name? Is this it's another baby? baby Chansey, which I, I don't, don't like, like it. I give, give it a, it a two. two. Yeah, it's not nearly as good as Chansey or Blissey. Look how fucking... Okay, I get the point is that it's like a younger girl. Like, like these two are like ascended matriarchal motherly creatures. And this one's like a little, a little girl with a ponytail. Like, she looks like she's a nurse, you know? Like, like these two are doctors... And she's just a little, like, newbie nurse in training. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, I give it a two. Uh, Chatot. What is a Chatot? It's a little parrot. Oh, I've seen this parody. thing. I, I think it's cool. I give it a three. I want to give it a four. I really dig the music note I do head. dig the music note head, but I don't really dig anything else about oh, it in I particular. I like his face. It looks like a Simon Says game. It's a little angry, game. sassy. Yeah. Um, Which is awesome. Spiritomb. What the fuck is this <laughs> thing? You know, I don't really know. I give this a two. Uh, is it yeah, just a gravestone so. with like a thing floating over it? It's, yeah. It says it was formed by 108 spirits. 
And it's bound to... This has got to be some kind of Japanese folklore thing. But its face is stupid. Actually, I give this a one. This looks like it came out of Scooby-Doo. And that really pisses me off. And I hate Scooby-Doo. Um, oh, yes. So this is where suddenly this gen gets amazing. Um, Gaibel, I give a four. Look at him. He's fucking he's adorable. A, he's a He's a, yes, he's a land shark. Which is fucking awesome. A fucking I'm land give shark. give it a five. You know what? I give it a five, too. I love him. I love the things on his head. I love his big teeth, his stupid face, and he's cute. And more importantly, this is one of my favorite lines in all yeah. of Pokemon. Um, you getting real excited. He goes into Gabite, also gets a five. I give Gabite a four. He's a land shark. He's, he's land pretty shark. cool. But... He's, okay... What this really reminds me of is the main enemies in, um, here, let me, let me type this in real quick. Uh, he reminds me of Fantasy Star Online. These enemies called, they're literally called sharks. Like, these are land oh, sharks. Shit. I have killed hundreds of these, if not thousands, in Fantasy Star Online. And, like, if you took this and made it a Pokemon... You yeah, would get Gabite. <laughs> and I can just hear him go as he dies, as they do in that game. But anyways, um, Gabite's awesome. He's got a perfect color scheme. He's sharp. He's edgy. He's fucking... This is this to me is as cool as Scyther was. Yeah. Like, but, but, but it gets better. It does get With better. one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Five. Fucking Garchomp. Five all day. Yeah. He is simultaneously, he has all the coolness of a dragon and a shark. He's got this cool shark tail with the fin. He's spiky as fuck. He's just, look at his fucking face, oh, yeah. man. He's got torpedoes on his head and this cool shit. Oh, I love him. I he love Garchomp. Awesome as hell. Garchomp was my main in X and Y. I got him to level 100. Because I would just go yeah. to the uh, Elite Four and use him. And, like, yeah. like basically, I EXP shared, and I was trying to train all my other guys because I caught every Pokemon in that game. And most of that means leveling up Pokemon so they can evolve. So I'd just go to the fucking Elite Four with him and, like, a bunch of level five guys with EXP share on and just stomp everything. He is fucking cool! Definitely in my top ten favorite Pokemon. But! But! But oh, my number one favorite is right afterwards. My favorite Pokemon of all time, motherfucking Munchlax. So, okay, you have Snorlax, one of the most iconic Pokemon. He's a big, giant, fat thing that fucking falls on people, and it's super cool. What if he had a fat little baby form. <laughs> like, you know, Snorlax wasn't always that big. He had to eat big to get big. We all gotta eat big to get big. But what would he look like <laughs> as a baby? You know? He's just... Look at it's his so face! Cute. It's Where's great. my munch? Give me my munch. Me my munch. I want my munch. Okay. Munchy! Munchy, this is for you! I mean, my, my, my good friend Munchy of the Procrastinators is literally named after Munchlax. Because he also loves Munchlax. Because he looks like a Munchlax. And, uh, you know. This thing makes me endlessly happy. And I fell in love with him because of the Destiny Deoxys movie. Because in that movie, Munchlax is a little shit. Who just... All he does is just eat everyone's shit. And he doesn't give a fuck. He gives no fucks. He just walks around eating people's shit. And then there's this scene... Where he's like, he's, he's walking all slow, he's, he's fucking lazy, right? He won't do anything. But, like, someone stands in his way, and they're like, don't take our food. And he literally jumps, like, 30 feet in the air, lands on the other side, and continues just walking lazily. He can do anything. He can do anything, but he chooses not to because he wants to fuck around. And then he steals the fucking show in the end by evolving into Snorlax and saving the day. Best Pokemon of all time. Five out of five. Yeah. So that was the stretch where Gen 4, like, I don't know, like, it it gets karate chopped in the neck and has an acid flashback and suddenly becomes amazing for, like, a brief period. Uh, yeah. Then we get into some stuff I'm not, as, I'm not as fond of. Uh, Riolu. It's baby Lucario. I know what it is. You know? Well, he's not a baby, is he? I think he's a baby. You gotta make him happy. I thought he's just a one, I think it's a one baby. baby. 
I have no idea. I don't know. Does it tell me? No, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, I don't know. It's okay. He's all right. Give him a three. I also give him a three. I don't really know what he is. I mean, he's like a he's a good design. I just don't really care about him. I would never, I would never have remembered Riolu if not for Lucario, but I would never have remembered Lucario if not for him being shoved down my fucking throat for ten straight fucking years. Look, Lucario, I give a four. I think he looks pretty cool. I yeah. really like the dreadlocks. I like that he's like an Anubis thing. Um, I'm okay with him being two-legged and kind of humanoid, even though it makes no sense. Uh, his category is Aura. Like, I don't know what he is. I don't understand him. Yeah. But, you know, he looks cool. I think he's cool. I'd give him a five. I think the he's only, as cool as, like, Mewtwo. The, uh, the thing is that, like, I don't know if people love Lucario or if Pokemon Company decided people would love Lucario. But they have tried to ram this fucking thing down my throat. He's like always super important in the games. He's important in the movies and he can talk for some fucking reason. He can talk. Apparently he can read people's thoughts and therefore he can talk. I don't fucking know, man. Why? It's not even a psychic Pokemon. Every talking Pokemon was a psychic Pokemon up to that point. You had Lugia, Slowking... Meowth, well, okay, Meowth doesn't count, but that's just no. one. There's only one Meowth that can talk. I it's think not it's normal. I think it's cool that he isn't psychic and can talk. Like, his whole thing is like... But why? He can, he's like, a Pokemon. Read. I think he's cool. If he can read minds, why isn't he fucking psychic? Why is he steel? Because he's cool as steel. He has, whole, he has like fucking knives coming out of his hand. I don't know. I've never found him that interesting. Like, his design is fine, but, like, I don't know, he's a furry, like... I don't know, Pokemon's really proud that they created this. I don't know why. I don't know why him. Why <laughs> Why not Garchomp? If they if they tried to shove Garchomp down my throat, I would open wide. Because Garchomp doesn't have the brain power. They gotta have he's his, so cool. Gotta have some brain he's power. so cool. I think he's... Why does Lucario have brain really power cool. if he's not fucking psychic? I don't know. Question. I guess it would get tiring if every time... Ugh. Uh... Two. Yeah. Same. His eyes are bad. I don't like his eyes. I hate his nostrils. I They're grotesque. Uh, when I think about what might come out of those, <laughs> I mean, it mostly it probably shoots sand. Even then, it's kind of gross. Yeah. And the patchy body is not doing much for me no. either. Uh, I don't like any individual element. Is of this it supposed guy. to be like camo? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. But this thing's better. The Powdon. I give him a three. Yeah, I'll give him a three as well. He's he's a good sand hippo, but not like a Pokemon that I would ever think about really. Yeah, exactly. Um, don't know what a Scorupi is. It's Scorupi. a scorpion. Is he? Okay, he's not related related to Gly Gly uh, Gligar at all. Yeah. Um, three. He's all right. Mm. He's just a scorpion. I don't really care for the segment stuff, but I don't have a problem with it. Whereas I do on the... What's your score? I'm going to give it a two. I don't think it deserves a three. Well, here's what I know I don't like. Um, this thing... I give it a one. I give a one. I hate the segment. Me too. Why are its arms coming out of its face? <laughs> yeah. Uh, are those just like extra pincers? Like... This is too much. This is overkill. What is the ogre scorpion? Like, look at a picture of that. Is that, it have I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to <laughs> see that. I'll cover your eyes. I'll shield your eyes. The, uh, whether it's a real thing or not, I hate this thing. Yeah. It's weird and uh, overkill. There's too many things on it. There is too many, too many parts. It's a uh, it's overkill. Program. And I don't really care for the colors either. Krogug's pretty okay, cool. I give, him a four. I give him a four too. I don't. He's like a frog, right? Yeah, he's like a. But he's like a two-legged. See, this is this to me is like, like, better Lucario. Like it's the same kind of design. It's another two-legged fighting Pokemon, but it's less humanoid. It's more like interesting and has like more of a personality. Um, you know, I mean, I'm still gonna keep Lucario at a four because he is. A, he, I mean, he's cool looking, I but like, I like Krogan more. I, I mean, I like them both. 
But uh, let's go to Toxic Croak. Okay. Uh, not as into it three. as the Crow Gunk. I give it a three. I do like the blades coming out of its yeah. hands. That's cool. Um, I hate its crotch. <laughs> It looks like it's wearing tidy whities I think I, <laughs> if not for that, I might like give it a four. But like that really bothers me and is really mm -hmm. distracting. Um, everything else about it's kind of okay. I do like the fucking Wolverine claws though. Uh, then we Carnivine. got three. Yeah, it's not as cool as um. Three. Well, I don't know. I don't know if. Is this cooler than Victory Bell? What if we give Victory Bell? Mm. I think Victory Bell's cooler. You know? I Probably. think we scored it pretty low. Yeah. Could well, we can find out. Uh, what number is Victory Bell? Victory Bell, you gave. I gave him a three. So we good. both gave him a three. Uh, I don't know. Three. Yeah. I don't care for it that much. Finneon. What's a Finneon? I remember um, really liking it, but it's kind of forgettable. I give it a three because it's just a fish, but it's not like just a fish, like some of the other just a fishes were. Some people pointed out to me that um, Remoraid might be supposed to be a gun, and like well, that's why it's attached to the bottom. I mean, of... its design didn't communicate yeah, that at all. Yeah, it didn't look gun enough. Finian gets a three for me. Yeah. Also a three. I, I, again, like it, it's like they're approaching something cool, but not quite making it there. It's more than just a fish, but it's not m enough to be like a Pokemon. Like, oh yeah, I'm excited. I want a Lumina. Like, yeah. no way I'm like no. going out of my way to find no. one of these. Uh, Mantike, I really like. I give him a five. I think he's a really strong... Like, his face is fucking adorable. I love the little things coming off. Um, the, 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 like, white and black is cool. Um, and he's, like, a cute Stingray guy. And, uh, yeah, I like him more than Mantine. I like that his fin is, like, almost a hand, too. Almost. And the it's big things coming off of him. Snover. It's okay. A three. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he deserves a four, but like he doesn't offend me, you know. He looks like he might be some kind of Japanese myth monster. He's like the abominable snowman. You'll see it when. Is it, there's like one that's literally an abominable the snowman? Next is evolution. Oh, oh is like it? Oh, okay. Yeah. The bomb of snow. Uh, three as well. I'm not offended by it. But there's, it doesn't make me want to have one. I'm gonna give it a two because if like I got a Pokemon card of this, I would not want to keep it. I I just don't like it. Yeah. It's not appealing. Yeah. It's kind of offensive. <laughs> Wait. Weevil. Was that a? Oh, it's just a mega. Weevil's cool. Wait, Weevil's from. He's Sneasel's Evolution. Oh, okay. I give it a four. I was like, wait, I've seen this before. Yeah, I give it a four. I think this is like as good as Sneasel. I don't think it's any worse. Um, it doesn't really feel like much of an evolution. It feels more like the same thing, but slightly different. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think it's damaged the design in any way. Nah. Magnezone. I give this a two. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I don't like the antenna on no. it. I don't like... Uh, 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 I don't know. I kind of like the shape, but uh, I hate the red eye. I hate that the top is like this weird metal cap. Mm -hmm. I think this would have been cooler if like the entire top had just been replaced by something else. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the heat. Two. Two. Uh, Looks dumb and It's a lot worse than Lickitung. Yeah, a lot. A lot worse. The The... I like the way Lickitung's stripes were shaped. This one is just like, it looks like fucking Wi-Fi bars. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. And I don't like the white thing on his chest. Well, it's a bib. Oh. He's he's supposed to look like a fat kid. Like, fat kids in anime always have, yeah. like, like, he's a rich fat kid. You know, he's got the little swirly. He's like a spoiled rich kid. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know why Lickitung had to become so humanoid like that. You know, Lickitung was just like a bizarre fucking monster that made yeah. no sense to anybody. I don't think it needed an evolution. And no. The evolution takes away from it. You know. I agree. Superior to. Uh, I'd give it a three. I am not offended by it, although it kind of just looks like he's wearing football gear. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I give him a two because of this tail. What the hell yeah, is that? Yeah, that's nasty. Why does he have that? They didn't have that. He has, like, a cool, like, s regular snake tail thing. Why the hell does he have a gross, like, turd coming off, like a dingleberry coming off his ass? From holes in its palms, it fires out Geodude. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Those are Geodude cannons? <laughs> I take him back up to a three. I think he might be a mech. I think the idea is that he is a rock mech. And he, like, his arms look like, as soon as I realized those holes were there, I realized these arms look like Big O. Um, you, oh, you see, yeah. Yeah, the, like, the pistons that go in and out. And that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll give him a three as well, because that is cool. But I hate Creative. the tail. Unless that's meant to be, like, a plug or something, maybe, and he's a robot, maybe. that would be all right. Oh my god, they... they no! Why did they evolve <laughs> Tangela? I give it a one. I also give it a one. <laughs> its it. body's misshapen. Why is it... Why does it have, like, legs now? Why does it have arms and <laughs> legs? And the gross fucking... Uh, they ruined Tangela. <laughs> they really ruined Tangela. <laughs> they gave him the worst evolution. Ugh. And the worst part is, I know I've seen this several times, <laughs> yeah. and I've just blocked it from memory. Um, Electivire. I give it a four. I am not into it. I give it a three. I think it's kind of cool. I... It, it's not as cool as Electabuzz, though. No. I think it's like a worse Electabuzz. I don't, why is it so furry? Like, I never really thought of Electabuzz as like... Having fur, certainly not Elekid. Like, I guess Electabuzz does have fur, but like, that's an odd thing to emphasize in this. Um, and I don't like these random spindly things that are coming off of them. I guess they're cables, but. They're pretty hot. Uh. <laughs> what happened to, um, what happened to his, like, horns? Where'd those go? Yeah, I, I get how the plug. He still has the horns. He has like the two little shockers. No, he's got those two on the back. Oh, uh, yeah, you're talking right. about the V the horn. Horns. Yeah, the I don't know. Tentacles. It could be worse, but I don't find him to be cooler than Electro Buzz. Tentacles automatically is at one point higher. Mag Mortar. This might be more tolerable than <laughs> Magmar or Magby, but still bad. I give it I a two. Three. I'm. I give it a two. I still. I hate its egg-shaped body. <laughs> I hate the color of the leg pieces. Um, like, unlike Magmar, he doesn't feel like quite so much of a mishmash of random bullshit. Yeah. And he doesn't have an ass on his head. Like, the flames <laughs> look cool, and he these look cool. Hands. Yeah, <laughs> the cannon hands look pretty neat. Um, but I don't like his body that much. I think he's everything they need to do to improve Magmar. This yeah, but, like, by one step. I mean, what can they really do? <laughs> I gave Magmar a one, I know. so... <laughs> I know. Alright, what the hell is a Forgettable. Uh, three. Yeah, three. It's... Yeah, I mean, Togepi was really strong. Togetic was mediocre, and Togekiss is also mediocre, so... Yeah. Yan Mega. I would give him lower if not for the fact that he's a plane. Like, Which that's the only thing I really like about him is that he's a plane. Uh, three. Uh, I give him a two. Nothing about him stands out to me. Yanma was uh, already just kind of a bug, and this is like uh, less cool to me. I think it looks a little more cool. I like the eyes, but like I don't like anything about the body. Uh, I don't get why Yanma was desperate for a evolution, though I have heard the argument that he deserves a mega evolution, which I don't know. Maybe yeah, that would make him mega. cool. Oh, five. Leafeon. Five all day. Leafeon's probably my favorite Eeveelution. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a five, too. I really like 
just the I love how like curly it is. It's got thorns, but it's just fur. Like its fur is thorns and its ears are fucking leaves. Oh, it's really nice. I love the colors of this thing. I love um, how the gradient how it just like Yeah. Goes the gradients are fucking great. Yeah, he's like my favorite evolution. I give him a five. Solid and uh, Glaceon, I also give a five. Yeah, me too. I love the hair. Me too. It's great. It's total anime hair. Um, I I am shocked that it looks good on an Eevee. Like that, yeah. this hair actually works is shocking to me. Um, I love its like icy, distant personality. Yeah, I mean the hair is the style. The hairstyle of like. A rich standoffish yeah. girl, you know. Um, it's fucking great. It's cute. I like it. Good job, Lucia. Yeah, they've never really fucked up an evolution. No, they put a lot of effort into them. Um, Gliscor, I'd say he's about as good as Gligar. I give him a three. Yeah. He's all right. He's a three. Then we got fucking. Mammals. We got good old motherfucking Brunswick. The Manlo Swine. I give him a five. Me too. I the first time I saw Manlo Swine was in one of the movies where there was like a bunch of them, and I got really excited yeah. about the idea of a mammoth Pokemon. Like it's a woolly mammoth, and mammoths are cool. The tusks are so ridiculously are big, awesome. and he's a giant. He's eight feet tall. Um, I mean, if you evolved this out of a out of a Pylo swine, you would have the exact reaction that Ben does in that comic, which is, "Whoa, Brunswick, you're a badass." <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. Um, oh, they made a third Porygon. Porygon two. Um, what is the difference between this and Porygon Two? Is uh, it more HD somehow? Body is like upside. Additional software was installed to make it a better Pokemon. It began acting oddly, however. What does that mean? I, I, I don't know enough about Porygon lore to... I mean, I feel like, okay, Porygon was, like, a polygon. And yeah. then Porygon 2 was like, we have bump mapping now. But this doesn't feel like it's a graphical increase. I guess no. it's got more lighting on it. Like... I just think graphics haven't evolved in a, like, major enough way between Porygon 2 and Z that it justified making no, another Porygon. Not. So I give this one a 2. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a 2 as well. Not a fan. Uh, whoa. It's the male Gardevoir. I give him a 2. I'm gonna give it a 3. I hate his... Bulge, <laughs> and he's just not as strong a design as Gardevoir. He's okay. I... Do you think you'd ever choose him over Gardevoir? Like no. Yeah, I don't think so. Even though he might be a better Pokemon. Probo Pass. Two. I think I said this already uh, before that Nose Pass. I gave like a really high you score. Gave it five. And Probo Pass takes it too far. Nose Pass was exactly the right amount of goofy. Mm -hmm. It was just goofy enough without going overboard. Probo Pass takes it too far. Way too far. Um, I don't know if I give it a... T I think I'll still give it a three because it still doesn't offend me yet and it's kind of funny, but it's not as funny as the, the nobility of Nose Pass. Uh, this thing's a little too much. Really, it's the eyes that really make it dumb. Yeah. I'm fine with everything else, but the eyes are dumb. Um, yeah. What the hell's a dust you know. are? It's offensive to me as an Italian-American. Probo, Probo Pass? Because like... <laughs> it looks like Mario? Yeah. <laughs> Does Mario offend you as an Italian-American? It, it probably should. <laughs> I, I know people who it, it does offend. Really? People get offended by They're Mario? Butter. Fucking pussies, but... <laughs> uh, what the hell's this thing? Oh, man. Duskull has not gone down a good road. Uh, I give this a two. I don't really get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a two. It looks like... Okay, it says it's a gripper. It takes lost spirits into its pliant body and guides them home. Um, what it reminds me of... Maybe it's just this pose. But you know when Aladdin... 
the like guards, the fat guards who are chasing Aladdin. That's what it reminds me of somehow. Yeah, I can see it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I don't really care for it. Frolass. Frostlass. It's like the girl galley. Oh, I see. Yeah. The doom guy. Uh, I. Three. I give it a two. I don't get it. I, I mean, I guess it's just a girl. I, I mean, is it a Yukiona? Is that the idea? Yukiona is a Japanese spirit where it's just like a ice woman. Yeah, I've heard of Yeah, and they like lure you into the mountains and stuff. But like, because she's wearing like a kimono. That much is obvious. But the face is like weird and not face really is cute. Unsettling. Yeah. But I mean, it's a ghost type. I think it, it's okay. It's all right. I just don't think I'd go out of my way to get one. I like the kimono, though. Me too. Um, Rotom. Oh, Rotom's the Pokedex one. I give it a five. I give him a four. I like him conceptually a lot, but that doesn't really factor into the design that much. Look at the life forms. You gotta look at the forms. Okay. You gotta look at all the hard work they put in the scheme. That one's cool. That one's cool. Yes, that one's awesome. That one's cool. Um, that one's really cool. Yeah. That, that one's, one's... Okay. I give him a five because he has so much versatility. Yes! I, his normal form, I'm not as impressed by as him possessing other things. And I mean, he's a fucking Pokedex in Sun and Moon, which is a cool thing. I mean, I, I feel like I've formed a relationship with this guy because he talked to me nonstop yeah. for the whole game. Um, what the hell's an Uxie? It's the legendaries. Whoa, what is this thing? The knowledge I've guy. never seen this guy. Uh, he's alright. I give him a four. I give it a three, and you will see in two seconds. Okay. Um, this one I like less. Yeah, I'm also gonna give it a three. I give this one... I think these are, like, the most forgettable legendaries. Like, it's the legendary trio. Oh, this is the trio? Yeah, this is supposed to be the legendary oh. trio. Yeah. Oh. I think I bump him down to a three because, yeah, that's not good it's enough. It's not cool. Like, this is not what I would have expected legendary to be. This, this one, one I give it two. This one looks terrible. I don't like it at all. I don't like its face. Um. This was really the legendary trilogy of yeah. this gen? I've never seen these guys. I give him a three as well. Yeah, I true. I've never even seen these Cause legendaries. Super forgettable. And because this gen has like a shitload of legendaries, yeah. right? They're like they just kind of get buried. Yeah. All right, Dialga. I give him a three. I give it a four. I don't like his big long head, and like, what is he? He's just a big quadruped. He's just a big spiky dude. Yeah. He reminds me of like a World of Warcraft character like like a boss character from world of warcraft where they just like put a bunch of spikes on him i give palkia a three i think he's better than dialga but uh, i still give him a three it's just too much too much shit going on he's a penis like, what the hell is he why is his neck so long okay he has a penis like tell me you see it like, his yeah i mean yeah <laughs> oh he especially with this balls here yes. oh now he's gross <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I'll keep it at a three, just because I hadn't noticed that before. Heatran. Uh, two? Yeah, two. This its is... body is gross. This is supposed to be a legendary that's, like, super hard to get. No. No. Why'd they make so many? Oh, why'd there have to be another <laughs> Reggie guy? How do you even make this thing? You have all three. Two. Yeah. Two. It's really disappointing. You combined all three. You think you're going to get something cool. And now you get this. No. I mean, they weren't this even that cool in the get. first place. No. So why bother adding on to them? Giratina. Okay. Giratina gets a four. I don't like it at all. I give it a two. This was Shade's, like, favorite. No, wait. Not this one. I'm thinking it's of Dark Rye. Dark Rye. Yeah, but, um... Oh, there's two forms. That one's better. I still give it a two. It's just it's just so much. 
It's just way too much. This one also looks like a World of Warcraft boss to me. Like He looks way better than Palkia to me. There's just so much shit on him, man. Like Yeah. That's how you know he's a legendary. Like, he's got six legs and all of them got these fucking things and all this shit. The old legendaries weren't like that. No. The Lugia was fucking dynamic and cool. This thing's just like a big fat fuck. Uh Cresselia. Three? Not memorable. Nope. Uh, in the slightest. Fiona. It's like the three Down syndrome version of Manaphy. He's he's like not as cool as Manaphy. Yeah, he's he's like Manaphy but worse, or or Jirachi but worse. <sighs> he's just too uniform in color. He'd be better. I it too. I th he's like, I don't know. I don't like it. Imagine if if all it would take is for this string to have been like. Like a, like a bold yellow or like a gradient color. Like, they could have done anything with this string coming off its head. Why keep it the same color yeah. as the rest of the body? I just think it's a really lazy design and I don't see the problem. Yeah, I agree. Like, you have mana Why do you even need Oh, yeah. Mana? See, this is, this does a way better job. Like, yeah. the yellow is so much more striking than the uniform design. I give it a um, I still, I give, no, I'm going to change my Fiona score to a 2 and make Manaphy a 3, because I still am not impressed with it, uh, but I think it's better. It looks like a chow. Oh my god, it kind of does look like a chow. Baby, I'm so happy you know what a chow. I love chow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so many hours of my life has been wasted. This, this was Shane's patterns. favorite Pokemon as a kid. It, this thing is just an edgelord. Um... <laughs> I give it a three. I don't have any real problems yeah, with it. I give it a three too. But like, as far as edgy, dark, ghosty guys go, like there's better ones. You yep, know, there is. I mean, Haunter's better, just in its simplicity. There's so many know? legendaries in this generation, and they all suck. Yeah, a lot of them impress me. I like Shaman though. Shaman's all right. I, I still Shaman give it a. Four. I give it a three. I really like Shaman. I have a Shaman. I like the Shaman. big flower. I need to find my shape. And that it's like a hedgehog. Yeah, look at his other form. The scarf form. Oh. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> that one, I... I give that one a 5. I'm gonna give him a 5 overall. Because this one is really cute, and I was tempted to give it a 4, but I was kind of on the edge. But this one's awesome. So... This is something I would get, like, if I was a kid, I would be really excited to get this one. Like... Even though it's a doggy? I don't even know if I think of him as a dog. He's definitely a dog. Uh, a dog he's like, yeah, he's kind of a dog, but he's like a superhero. Like, <laughs> I love his scarf. He's, he looks like a, like a lead anime, like a, like a cool anime character. Um, I don't know. So, he really... He strikes me. I like the cut of his jib. I'd watch a show about him, you know? Like, I think I'd actually watch an anime with literally this as the main <laughs> character. Uh, then we've got literal God. It. Why did they do this? <laughs> Why is God a Pokemon? That is so far. stupid. It is way too far. Um, does he have multiple forms? Yeah. Oh, my God. Every type, but God. they're just three colors, so you don't have to look at them all. It's not even changing. It's not even showing. It literally is just a recolor, anyways. Uh, I give him a two. He's just a bunch of shit. Mm. He's not even cool. I mean, I've seen pictures of him where he looks a little bit more regal, I guess. But like, what is this shit on his waist? What is that? I'm gonna give him a three, just because I gave most of the other shitty legendaries threes, and I don't think he's any worse. I just don't think he's. I just hate all the over-designed legendaries. I hate how much shit... Like, they, they got a lot of shit on them, and none of it is cool to no. me. Like, it just looks like they loaded a bunch of shit on because it's like, oh, it's a legendary. It's gotta be... Gotta have a million things coming off of it. And, like, why? Um, then we've got this... That's this the thing. next generation. Oh, is it? Yeah, get, get the fuck off that. You're spoiling it. What? How is You're this the next... You're spoiling it! How is this the next generation? Away. This isn't a... Yes, it's, it's the next generation, trust me. Really? Yes. The next generation doesn't start it with the starters? It ends at God, okay? It ends at God. That's all you have to know. Hold on, hold on. I need the to look at it. Teenage Gen 5. I mean, what's... Is he even in any of the games? He's in 
the fucking black and whites. Generation five. Yeah. 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 Why does it start with him? Nobody knows. It's just they decided to change things up. Well, I guess we finished uh, Gen Four. Um, I one thing I really appreciated was the like, Hoenn was all like the really cartoony and dopey. Yeah. And these ones, I feel like went back to what Pokemon looks like. It it definitely they had Pokemon eyes. They they were more Pokemon-y, They were a lot more edgy. Yeah. This whole Gen to me like reeks of trying really hard to be cool. Like, there's so many more Pokemon that are like. Just like, uh, you know, spiky, edgy dudes. And then there's like a thousand legendaries and they're all over-designed. And like, I don't know. It felt like they were trying to make all the Pokemon cool. And they yeah. only succeeded like twice. <laughs> like, Garchomp is the coolest Pokemon of all time. But like, and Munchlax is my legit favorite. So like, I can't completely condemn this. this uh, like, the starters were all like, okay. None of them were, like, amazing. Uh, I know you like Piplup, but, like, they're all... The starters are, are all okay. There's a bunch of Pokemon that I gave, like, fours, but there was very few that were, like, oh, that's... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of my favorites. It's a classic, you know? Like, Garchomp and Munchlax are the only ones that are, like, favorite Pokemon of mine. Um... And I hate all the legendaries. I hate... Yeah, the legendaries suck. Oh, like... It's like lukewarm. All the Pokemon are lukewarm. You get to legendaries and it's like, this is... Why would you boil... Like, like if you were going to suddenly make legendaries the like the largest category of Pokemon, they should have all been really great designs. Yeah. You the, know? the legendary trio should not be as forgettable as... Like, I no. can't even remember any of their names. They're even less rememberable than fucking the Reggie guys. Yeah, the Reggie guys, like... And that's sad. Yeah, it the is Reggie really The Reggie sucked. Sad. Oh, man. Well, I mean, it came out better than I expected. There weren't as many, like... I feel like there were less ones than Gen 3. Yes. Gen 3 had a lot of, like, stuff that just made us fucking gag. Gen 4 was a lot more middle of the road. So, I won't be surprised if our scores are higher for this one. Um, I think it'll be were for Gen 3. It'll be neck and neck. But uh, there was just so few. I gave way more fives in Gen 3 than I did this Gen. And granted, this is a smaller one, but like, crikey. Well, that's it. Join us tomorrow, and we'll get into where Pokemon got good again. At yeah. least uh, design-wise, in my opinion. See you then!